It's cold today, man, but let's go see what we can catch out of the ocean. Jigs and crabs, it don't matter. We'll get it done today, do what we can. 28 degrees right now, let's hit it. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the worst. All right, I think we're good, right? Let's get going. A little chilly, but nothing we're not used to. It's pretty warm actually. Make it, making use of the journey out. Got a couple crabs. Crabs. Well, uh, that's what our fish fry looks like. That's not structure, that's just a lot of small fish. Could be pinfish, could be croaker. I'm gonna pull up on the first, uh, first little drop in a minute. I'm gonna just drop our jig down to the bottom. We're productive on the way out. Cut a bunch of crabs. Got 56 degree water. It's about 35 degrees out. So 35 feet of water. It's about 45 degrees out. I'm going with small profile. There is a chance of small fish, but might be big fish. I don't know. To find out. Some life here. Got him. Yes, sir. <laughs> that first fish matters a lot, huh? Nice fish, too. I think you might have to use those shads I gave you. This. I like doing this in the winter. It's a lot better than lake trout. Wow. Nice fish. Huh? Oh, man, I just lost a jig head though. <laughs> I just lost one of those things we really need today. I bumped it overboard just now. Come on, come on, come on. That's a nice fish, man. Alright, man. There it is. First one, it's on that Mackinac Shad. Solid fish for this time of year, really. Really, it is. It's probably in that 40 inch class, yeah. All right, that's what we caught it on. 1.25 ounce. Solid winter pumpkin right there. 
Boy, tough day, and now it's raining. So uh, let's talk about some soft plastic rigging for the winter months. And this will apply to most of your inshore saltwater species. I guess the particular ones this will be important for is a holdover striped bass or wintering over stripers. I guess some of this is gonna apply to redfish and speckle trout too. So uh, let's talk about that. This is the dead heat of winter. So this time of year, all this big stuff that I like to fish with for stripers and reds, the five inchers, the six inchers, the eight inchers, uh, all this stuff. We'll put this away. We'll see all this in April. So generally, big stuff, not today. This is the time of year for the small stuff. So uh, let's talk about what comes on the water with me. This is kind of what I crafted as my winter jig head box and a lot of the stuff I'm gonna fish all winter and let's pull out what the plastics and little plugs are gonna be for the rest of the winter. It's actually kind of simple what you need to bring out in the water with you. Uh, to me there's basically two types of fishing I'll be doing. One is in the ocean within that one to two mile range and then the backwater fishing or the backwater fishing I have experience in as well. In saltwater or brackish you're targeting striped bass that are wintering over in brackish environments and I guess, which is going to be new to me, redfish and speckled trout in these winter months, which I don't want to get too much into because I don't have enough experience to really tell you, oh, fish like this and this. Striper I know in the winter, and this nearshore ocean fishing, I imagine it's going to play out like this. So first, let's start with the ocean fishing. So the ocean fishing is going to come down to absolutely fishing with bait this time of year. Uh, where I'm currently located in North Carolina, I'm imagining it's going to basically come down to black sea bass, weak fish slash gray trout, and redfish as the fish that I can catch all winter that'll hit artificial lures. Striped bass are not found in the three mile range anymore, so I'm not counting on bumping into those in the ocean. Jigging in the ocean requires heavier weights. Um, generally, I would say this is as large of a profile I would be jigging, that's a five inch shad. That'll cover a lot of the needs up to about 50 feet of water. And absolutely something like a split tail, uh, also pretty useful this time of year. These types of profiles right here, um, that's all I'm going to need and basically from that weight class three quarters of an ounce ounce and a half tops within my inner shore jigging up to about 50 feet of water and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to catch the weak fish the black sea bass and the red fish on these types of profiles if I'm not catching them on artificial absolutely switch it up to bait and the types of jig heads yeah from the Kalins got a couple of these SNS bucktails jig heads those have a little bit more heavy-duty hooks um, and uh, a couple of the VMCs. That's really it. Maybe I'll bust out a bucktail and gulp. That'll cover a lot of the ocean inshore fishing this time of year. Don't need too many presentations or profiles. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more simple than it is during the season. So if you're fishing inshore and in the tidal areas, um, you know, my range is North Carolina, uh, you know, up to the Northeast. Once again, just like out in the ocean, the smaller profiles are gonna be what I want. So again, what, what size lures would you be throwing for stripers and redfish and all that stuff? So keep in mind, stripers, probably their prime water temperatures to actively feed with relative ease, probably somewhere from 45 uh, to 55 degrees is where they'll be chomping pretty good. Below 45, it's going to be tough. You might find thousands and thousands of fish hold over somewhere for the winter and you might just get one or two bites. A lot of wintering over fish aren't chasing bait. You'll find them just schooled up, sitting there like logs, and you're gonna be dangling your jigs in their faces and hoping, crossing your fingers on that cold winter day, one's gonna end up committing to what you're throwing down there. Um, and when you fish a lot of these smaller profiles, it's important to match up your jig head size with the type of profile you have. Gosh, I've got so many in here. And generally, I don't know, I would say a good rule of thumb is you want the hook and jig head combo. You want the hook and jig head combo to go no more than halfway into the plastic. I like somewhere around one third of the way. And boy, I like these Z-Man jig heads a lot. They, uh, I like this gap. This gap is awesome. Um, it really makes a huge difference in securing your plastics. And one of the more awesome parts about uh, winter fishing is generally you're not going to have too many what's called trash fish. Your pinfish are gone, your bluefish are gone. So all you're probably gonna be catching is your targeted species more or less. And that right there is just a basic four inch uh, zoom fluke, the quarter ounce jig head. This would probably be my numero uno rigged up for winter holdover stripers. 
um, absolutely you can go a little smaller. Generally stripers winter over in some darker water or black water. Um, so that color, white is never a bad color uh, or some sort of natural color of the browns. And those are four inch DOA split tail sheds. Same thing, rig them the same way. Uh, and these are, you're probably gonna be jigging over piles of fish, you know, kayak or boat uh, or even from shore. And yeah, gen generally I'm imagining from an eighth to three eighths of an ounce will be probably pretty good for most of your uh, low current back bay salty environments or brackish water environments. If you need heavier stuff, you'd probably go to the profiles I just showed earlier. So if you're jigging in a river with maybe 40 foot holes that stripers hold over in um, and the water is really down there below 45 degrees, yeah, these types of profiles. Absolutely, if you have some warmer water and the bite is on, you can go back to your traditional size lures, absolutely. And generally, you know, the retrieve or cadence for winter fishing, oh god, it's called painful slow. I suck at it because I, I really bring in my, my profiles way too quickly this time of year. You really want to make sure you can properly suspend your baits, include long pauses, Fish have a slower metabolism this time of year, and they're just not on the feed. Um, so it's more like agitating them and keeping that bait in their face. It's almost like you're ice fishing through open water. That's how I would describe it. Very long pauses, very slow jigging. Uh, you're not really whipping it through the water column. Just very crawling, crawling your profiles and presentations to get these fish to hit. And this is basically what's gonna be with me on the water for the next couple months. I mean, it covers, I've gotten here, uh, from independent jig head makers, DOAs, Kalins, um, Trout Eyes, Z-Mans, a couple more Kalins um, to some bigger ones, bigger Kalins, S and S bucktails, you know, some heavier duty hooks. This stuff might not even come out for the winter, but I'd rather have it just to be safe, the VMC stuff uh, for bigger swim baits. But probably this sort of stuff will be all that I'm using in the bay, and maybe a couple of these tricks will come out in the ocean. That's going to cover a lot of my ocean fishing and back bay fishing. And aside from this stuff, I'll be breaking out bait. This is a very simple time of year to fish. Overall, it's more about the size of what you're throwing and the speed you're presenting it. There's only so many options you can really incorporate to get a fish to bite. So, all right, well, slower day. Lower your expectations this time of year. Um, we did catch one good fish, so that's a winner. All right, from here, we'll just see how we do for the rest of the winter and how we can uh, continue to catch fish in winter patterns. Uh, hopefully we'll be banging away. So thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting and useful. I'll catch up with you guys soon.